the government is positioning itself to offer alternative credit avenues to small and medium enterprises as plans to remove limits on interest rates gather momentum. With concerns over banks taking advantage of borrowers, the Treasury is coming up with alternative channels aimed at enhancing access to credit while freeing up capital by commercial banks. Mumbiwa Rui tells us more. The call to scrap the low capping interest rates at 4% above the central bank rate has attracted mixed reactions. Despite President Uhuru Kenyatta, the National Treasury and the Central Bank of Kenya asserting the law had failed to yield the intended benefits, lawmakers in the consumer lobby group have cautioned against going back to an era where banks hold the upper hand. This, however, has not stopped the National Treasury from coming up with proposals to ensure enhanced credit access to SMEs. There's a whole section of the credit market that is not accessible through the banking sector. So he was trying to think of a holistic law that will address the whole you know, credit market and mainly focusing on the consumer protection. The Treasury is pushing to set up the Biashara Fund for SME financing while merging the Uwezo, Youth and Women Enterprise Funds to create a well-funded financing arm. The Kenya Development Bank is also set to be formed as a merger between Industrial Development Bank, IDB, Industrial and Commercial Development Corporation, ICDC, and Kenya Tourist Development Corporation, KTDC. This has received the backing of the Kenya Bankers Association, which is seeking to have banks freed to do business. If they can be brought up into one entity that can then extend this funding to the specific institutions, um, you know, that will be a more effective way rather than where they are today, you know, um, in, in, in funds. A KBA study on the impact of capping shows that the number of loan accounts shrank by 1.2 million between 2016 and 2017 as banks shied away from issuing loans. Credit uh, allocation favors well. Uh, established businesses are usually large and uh, therefore uh, pointing towards uh, limited access to uh, micro, small and enterprise uh, and household credit. The Kenya Bankers Association holds the view that liberating interest rates to natural market dynamics will create a conducive environment for, for sustainable economic growth. Mombi Warowe, Citizen Weekend.